Hey everybody, it's Brandon and we're going to look at the paint tools, look at the brush, the clone, and uh, the eraser, and we'll focus on the clone. Here they are, up here, so you can see that when I come up here, this is the brush tool, command B. Here's the clone stamp tool, same shortcut, so it'll toggle through these, and the eraser tool, so it toggles through all of those. Um, we'll go ahead and start with the, the brush tool. Uh, for this exercise, we'll create a new layer. Um, and we'll just do a new solid. And we can do it as a uh, gray, sure. And then um, we're going to grab the brush tool. And with the brush tool selected over here, you can see I have these options. Um, the reason I'm seeing this all stuff laid out so nicely is because I'm under Window, Workspace, and then Paint. So uh, if you reset your workspace to Paint, you'll see it the same way I'm seeing it. And um, so we've got these brushes that, that are sort of presets over here that we can choose from. We can change the diameter. So you see if I uh, choose one, um, and then I have to do it on the layer itself. So I'm going to come over here and choose the brush tool. And you can see there's my brush if I do a line. You can see there's the red line. The red line's coming from the red up here. If I hold down the control key on a PC or a command key and then move up, you'll see that that changes the diameter. If I can move down, that changes the diameter as well. Also, if I uh, don't let go of my mouse and let go of the control or, or command key, now, as I move down, I'm actually affecting the softness. So see how the softness of this brush is being affected. So all of those things can be changed over here as well. You don't have to use those shortcuts. So there you go. Um, and then we can also choose different angles and, and sizes and all sorts of stuff here. Um, if you're using a, a tablet, you can use the pressure. Uh, so you can see here are all of the options that we have. And what I'm going to go do is just do a quick little sketch up here. So I'll just go like so. Okay, there I just did a nice big mess. So if I go over to the layer now and drop down on the layer, you can see that under effects, we have the paint effect. Now I only did one brush stroke. Whoops, I thought I only did one brush stroke. Okay, I had an extra one here. I'm just going to delete that. So here's my brush stroke. That is that kind of wild all over the place. And when I drop that down, um, I can change things about the path because this is all really a path. You can see where the brush traveled. Um, stroke options, the starting point, the ending point. You could change the color or the diameter or softness. So as you mess around with these, um, you'll see things change. Here's a quick, you know, just changing the size. Uh, of everything, the angle, hardness and softness, roundness. Let's see, I want to make it really soft too. Um, just all sorts of different parameters that you have. Uh, the, the cool thing here is you can animate all of these things as well. And um, let me just animate one for fun, which would be the start and end. So if we have it start. A little bit like that, so it's just starting to come out with this one percent, and this is at zero percent, and then we'll have it go for a while, and, and then the uh, end will be at a hundred percent. So we'll set that to a hundred, and we'll set the start to almost that. So now we should have kind of a funky animation. Let's check it out. And there it is, you're seeing it over there in the composite window. So now that we've almost got this wild laser animation that's happening, I'm just following the, the paint strokes. Okay, now let's take a look at using the helium brush. Or not the helium brush, excuse me, that's using the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to open up my project window. And let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this 
dark solid and work with um, the hand, uh, this hand movie. Okay. So this hand movie has uh, just an animation of my hand coming up, or not an animation, just this video. And I kind of want to use it when I can see this dot that I have this ink spot that's on my hand right here. I just happen to have an ink spot on my hand there. So what I'm going to do is trim this up and then move, and you can see it leaves the beginning in case I need to bring it back, but and then I'm going to bring the whole thing to the beginning there. Okay. There we are. So now if I wanted to remove this, uh, I'm going to double click this to get it up into the layer panel again. And we're going to use the clone stamp tool. Now the clone stamp tool, we can uh, apply that, you know, acts the same way it's a brush. But what's different here is that what I want to do is sample from an area and then apply it to this area. So I'll hold down the Alt key. And it's a good idea not to sample from an area like this. This is a lot darker so that when I then do a mark on there. It's sampled from over here and pasted over here. That doesn't look too realistic. So I'm going to undo that and um, let's look at this a little bit closer. Okay. So I could probably make the brush a little bit smaller and definitely want to keep it soft so it'll blend in. Probably just a little bit bigger. Okay. So here a sample. Alt click from about here. And I'll just brush that across. So I'm trying it again. Didn't quite like it. Click here. And there we go. Pretty good. So sort of hid that. And so we applied it. And now if we look on our uh, layers, you'll see that here under paint, we have the clone tool, which painted here. Um, it's set in normal. Let me just see if I move forward, watch what happens. See over here in the, in the composite window, notice that my hand moves. And what it's doing is it's sampling from this area right here. So it's, it's moved, it shows it right over here. So the sampling spot hasn't changed, but my hand beh behind there has changed. And so that's not working out too well. So let's uh, back up again and just review before we do fix this problem. So first of all, I'm just going to get rid of the paint effect from the layer. So I'm selecting the paint layer and hitting delete and we're back to where we were. So again, here are the steps. We want to make sure that we're using the clone stamp tool. Then we're going to hold down the alt key and click once where we want to sample from. Notice it's become a target. So if I sample from here. And then I'm going to click and drag. So I've let go now, but I'm going to click and drag to paint that. Okay, so again, Alt, click, click and drag. Okay, looks good enough for this tutorial. Um, you could spend a lot more time really getting this accurate, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can animate fixing this now. So um, here's the clone, and let's go ahead and set keyframes for the path itself. So I'll set the path to be on and we set the first keyframe. And then when I uh, scrub out a little bit, you can see that it is it is moved here. So all I can do, you know, I can just redraw this path again. So I'm just going to click and drag and there we go. And if it didn't work out quite right, I'm going to undo and just try it again. Okay. And then I can just even do this frame by frame by using my page up and page down. So as I move up, now I kind of get messed up. I'm going to click and drag, paint over it, keep going. And see, I can just change the path as I go. Undo that. And see, that's where the this is the spot I need to cover up. So I'm just going to go like that. Okay. There we go. 
you don't even have to undo. You can just redraw again until you get it right, just right. So there I am, pretty much frame by frame, fixing this up. And you can see now that when you when I scrub it, it's done a pretty good job. Now there's a couple of areas where it needs some help. Like right here, I can see that I didn't quite get that right, so I just go back to it and redraw that path a little bit better. And that's the way we animate the clone stamp tool. The eraser tool is the one that's right next to it. And as you can see, it just erases the actual footage here. Uh, and we have the same sort of principles that apply here. So that's just a real quick overview of these three paint tools.